Hello. Welcome to Crafty at Home Cafe. I'm Meg Miller, Adult Services Librarian at the Pflugerville Public Library. And for the month of May, we are going to continue to bring you Crafty Cafe weekly on Thursdays at 2 p.m. You can head over to our website calendar at library.pflugervilletx.gov to check and see what upcoming crafts are for each week in May, as well as a supply list for them. So grab your drink and let's craft. For this craft, uh, the supplies that you'll need will be some tissue paper, different colors. Um, I have a really cool gold one. Um, a paintbrush. The wider you get, the better. This is about the widest one I have here at the house. Um, a pair of scissors, uh, some Maj Podge, and some water to water it down. Something that you can put that in. Um, cling wrap, and then a bowl that you'll use as the mold. And this is just your basic satin. Um, gloss, sorry, gloss Mod Podge. Um, but if you have any of the other fun um, types, you can use those. I've got one here that's glitter, um, one that's here that's a hard coat, um, and then one that I actually got on uh, clearance at one point that has an opalescent sheen to it that might be kind of fun to use. Uh, tissue paper sheets are pretty big. They're going to be bigger than you need. Um, so I took one and folded it into fourths for my bowl here because one quarter of a sheet really kind of fits right over it. Um, so in order to cut those, I just folded it into quarters and then I'm going to take my scissors right down my fold line here and cut. And that'll give me two halves. And then again, I've got my fold lines here and I'll just cut across those to make my quarter sheets of tissue paper that will fit right over the bowl that I'm using as my mold. In order to get your bowl form ready, um, you're gonna need to take your cling rack a piece or two depending on the size of the bowl. And I'm just gonna put it right over the underside of the bowl here and wrap around making sure that I get all of the edges. This piece has a little bit um, of extra, so I'm actually going to use a second piece of cling wrap here. Make sure I'm on the right side. So I'm just gonna go opposite of the way that I went before. Be a little farther over here. And wrap it around into the inside tightly as I can all the way around. I really like this shape of bowl. This is something um, that if I had like maybe a terracotta uh, pot for a plant I could use. All right so we've got our bowl here all wrapped in saran wrap so I need to get our Maj Podge mixture ready so I've got my little Tupperware here and I'm just going to fill the bottom with a bunch. Actually, no. I didn't start off the first time I tested this craft using quite as much as a time because it's so easy to kind of water down as you go along. Um, but this time I know I'm going to need quite a bit. Um, so for this, it's about one to one just to um, water down the Maj Podge. And I'm just going to mix it up and make sure that I get a really pretty watery consistency here. So when I lift, you guys probably can't see very well on the camera there, that it just drips right off the brush. Um, a lot of this tutorial um, that I watched actually showed putting the um, mixture onto the tissue paper before putting it on the bowl the first time, but I had the hardest time lifting the tissue paper once it already had the mixture on it. Um, so I ultimately was able to do that by just putting a little bit onto my bowl first and then really just um, putting a lot on the tissue paper. So the first time I did our test one here, all I had was white tissue paper um, and it is just a solid white bowl. But I've since gotten some colorful different types of tissue paper. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that looks on a finished project. One of the sheets I have is gold here. And so I'll actually be using that one on the very interior um, of the bowl. I think that's gonna provide a really cool look. Um, so to get started, 
I'm just going to paint a little bit of our mixture right onto the bowl. And then I'm going to take my first piece of tissue paper, kind of center it as close to center as I can get. This bowl has a nice little lip underneath it. Um, so I'm really just pressing that down in and then more of the mixture right on top to really soak it in. It's tissue paper, so it's thin. It's going to tear. Um, because you're putting so many layers on, ultimately, um, those little tears will work themselves back together. So there's no real um, worry if you tear. This is another one of those great crafts that ultimately looks cool. Um, and along the way, you don't have to be quite as exact as you might think. All right, so just continue around. I've got it right here, kind of really soaking the mixture into the um, tissue paper. And now my bowl is round, but my tissue paper is square. So at certain points, I do have to fold the tissue paper kind of in on itself and really try and smooth out as many air bubbles underneath as possible. Uh, you don't need to worry about the edge of the bowl. Um, that you'll really be able to trim down after you get all your layers on there and dried. This is a craft that's going to take a few days um, so that you can allow these layers to dry. Um, in between these first couple layers, you don't really need that much drying time, um, but I definitely final drying time after putting all the layers on. So here's another piece where I've gotten it kind of pushed down and I'm just going to fold this corner towards me, um, making sure that these parts where there's extra layers of tissue paper already really get that soaking in of the mixture, continuing to just kind of brush down as I go along, making sure, let's twist it around a little bit farther, so I can go to the next part. Again, I'm just kind of pushing it down. Um, this craft table that I'm using here, I put a uh, black plastic trash bag on so that I can just allow this kind of mixture to drop right on it. The first time I did this, my test run, I used some wax paper underneath my bowl um, so that I can move it a little bit easier um, as I went along. So almost all the way around with this first layer. Each successive layer is going to be a whole lot easier to do um, because you won't have to lay down that first layer of um, mixture because it's already going to be fairly wet on the top. So I've got my gold here just about to all the way around. Here we are. All right, kind of push down towards the lip of the bowl to make sure that as much air is out as possible. Really kind of boom there. And I had one part of my bowl here where the tissue paper didn't quite meet the lip here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a second um, layer of the gold so that when my final product is dry, I'll make sure that I have gold really around the entirety of the inside of this bowl. All right, and that layer we just put down is still tacky. So like I said, I'm going to have a lot easier time getting this second layer on. A little bit of mixture. Just brushing it right onto the tissue paper here, kind of pushing down again so that I get those air bubbles out. Really just gently brushing it. And at this stage, honestly, I'm not doing that gentle of brushing. Spin them around here. Get a little fold in. And I'm going to continue this with as many layers as I really want. Um, my test bowl here is about 16 layers. Um, I could keep going. I've got a bunch of different colors here on this one. So I'm really probably going to go for about the same, probably 16 to 20 layers um, to see what kind of a cool look that gives this version of the bowl. Hopefully with a very nice gold interior.
Okay, so we've got our first number of layers on there. Um, and as you can see, I wasn't very um, exacting in how I put them down. I thought I would be cool to see some of the other colors from underneath. So when the tissue paper um, rips, it's not really a bad thing because you'll actually see some of the colors since I'm using color um, tissue paper underneath. But those first 16 layers definitely took out my, the most of my mixture, so I'm going to make myself a little bit more for these last two layers. I had this really fun um, print here in the tissue paper, and so that is what I want to use for my top couple layers. A little bit of Mod Podge, a little bit of water, Give myself the consistency I want. That should be actually pretty good. All right, so same as I did with the ones on the bottom. Um, I'm putting the design of the tissue paper uh, facing up as I put this on because that's the side I want to see on the top. And I'm just going to do these final two layers. And actually, I think I might only do one with the pattern because I like seeing the little bit of colors from underneath. And I think if I did a second pattern piece, I might lose some of that. And even though, like right here, it's not going to, the pattern piece isn't going to make it all the way to the bottom of the bowl form, that's okay because then I'll get some of the colors of the tissue paper from underneath and get to see those in my final product. And I really like this little pattern. I think this is just going to be the cutest little bowl to put keepsakes in or maybe my keys when I get home for the day. I'm sure my dog would prefer if I kept dog treats in it or something like that. Um, but really, the options are endless. Kind of put some future crafts in it as a design. I just wanna make sure that all the way around I have really good coverage and I'm just pushing down again to push out all of those air bubbles from around and this is where we hit the part of the magic of video because I'm going to now let this sit for the next two days to really dry out so that then we'll come back magically in two days a moment and see the removal. Um, actually, before I stop, I just realized what I had here. Um, I have a little bit of the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter, um, which I'm going to add into my little mixture here. Because Oh, too much, too fast. That's all right. We'll just have to glitter something else. Water that bad boy down. Mix them up here with my brush. There we go. All right, all glitter. A little bit of sparkle never hurt anything. And again, the really, the more I have this outer layer, the longer it's gonna take to dry. But I almost forgot the sparkles. And as the other librarians will be able to tell you, I'm a fan of the sparkles. Right. I think that is all the way around and now we're just going to let it sit. So we have allowed the tissue paper bowl to dry for at least 24 hours. I actually extended and let this one dry a little bit longer. So now we're ready to remove um, our bowl and see what our, clean up our tissue paper bowl. So I'm just going to pull back on the saran wrap that we put around the bowl and try to get in between the saran wrap and the bowl. Really, I'm gonna use my scissors to push down in between the bowl and the saran wrap gently so that I don't push through the tissue paper. And then once I slide it into the edge between, I'm just gonna pull out slightly and gently so that I don't get my bowl misshapen and just kind of go all the way around the edges 
in between the bowl and the saran wrap and loosen up so that I can then remove this bowl from the inside. All right, let's see how we do there. There we are. The bowl comes right out. Set that aside and we'll pull off the saran wrap from the inside. Oh yeah, inside of that bowl is real gold. That looks really cool. Pull my saran wrap off and now I've got this really ragged edge. I mean, if I like it, I could leave it. You are the crafter, but I think I want something a little bit closer to the one I made before with a smoother edge. So I'm just gonna use my scissors I'm going to start at a pretty low point and cut around. If you'd like, you can always do a mark uh, with a Sharpie or some other pen to let you know where you really want to cut. If you want to make sure this is in a very exacting manner, I'm just kind of cutting off the excess that kind of flaps over the outside of the bowl. All right. There we are, and now I've got the gold on the inside. Oh, look, there's a little straggler, but he fell right off. And the pattern on the outside. And I can really put anything in this that I'd like. Although obviously not really food, since it's got a Mod Podge all over it. You can't really tell on the camera, but there's a bit of a sparkle to it. Um, I might have even given it another hard coat so that some of the sparkle doesn't come off, but I think what I'll end up using this for will, will be fine. And there you have a tissue paper bowl.